Dear friends, in this video, we will discuss some important points of general toxicology, which will be helpful in competitive exams. So, let's start the video. Orfila is a father of toxicology. So, he was a Spanish chemist and father of modern toxicology. Section 284 IPC, it deals with whoever causes hurt or injury with rash or negligent conduct with respect to poisonous substance. So, rash or negligent conduct with respect to poisonous substance section 284 IPC. Section 328 IPC, it deals with the administration of any poisonous, stupefying or intoxicating agent with the intent to cause hurt or facilitate the commission of an offense. So, any intoxicating agent to intent to commit offense section 328 IPC. Narcotic drug includes coca leaf, cannabis, opium, poppy and all the drugs manufactured from them. So, derivatives of all these. So, it, it is given in Narcotic Drug and Psychotropic Substance Act 1985. So, alcohol is not included under the NDPS Act. So, if death occurs due to poisoning, then in post-mortem examination, the color varies from poison to poison. The color of post-mortem staining or post-mortem lividity varies from poison to poison. Here, some examples are given. In carbon monoxide poisoning, the color of post-mortem lividity is cherry red color. In carbon dioxide, CO2, color of lividity is deep blue. In cyanide poisoning, post-mortem lividity will be bright red or pink in color. Phosphorus or copper poisoning, dark brown or yellow color, hydrogen sulfide, green, bluish green color, post-mortem lividity. In opi opiates or opiates, color of the post-mortem lividity is black. In nitrites, aniline, nitrobenzene and chlorates, the post-mortem lividity color is coffee brown or chocolate brown. And it is due to met hemoglobin formation, chocolate brown or coffee brown. Similarly, the so smell is particular with particular poison. So, here the list is given in postmodern examination. In phosphorus poisoning, heavy metal poisoning like arsenic, selenium, thallium, parathion, malathion, alphos, the smell of the body is garlic like. In ethanol, methyl, or propyl alcohol poisoning, chloroform, nitrates and acetone, the smell is sweet and fruity. In perhaldehyde, chloral hydrate, the smell is acrid smell. In S2S, mercaptans and disulfiram, disulfiram is drug used in chronic alcohol poisoning, the smell is like rotten eggs. In hydrogen cyanide poisoning, the smell is like bitter almond. Carbolic acid poisoning, phenolic smell, organophosphates, kerosene like smell, in zinc phosphide, fishy smell, in methyl salicylates, oil of winter green like smell, and in marijuana, burnt rope like smell. So, burnt rope like smell in cannabis, marijuana. Parenchymatous degenerative changes in kidney, they are seen in metal and cantharidine poisoning. So, parenchymatous degenerative changes in metal and cantharidine and necrosis of PCT, proximal convoluted tubules, it is seen in mercury poisoning, mercury chloride, phenol, lysol and carbon tetrachloride poisoning. So, necrosis of PCT, mercury poisoning. If doctor suspects homicidal poisoning, he should inform to police under section 39 CRPC. So, information should be given and it is mandatory for the doctor in homicidal cases. Gastric lavage, it is indicated in ingested poison. There are some contraindications for gastric lavage. So, corrosive poisoning except carbolic acid. In carbolic acid, we can give gastric lavage because in carbolic acid poisoning, stomach wall become thick. In all other corrosive poisoning, it is absolutely contraindicated. So, absolute contraindication. Corrosive poisoning is absolute contraindication for gastric lavage. In other poisoning, some precautions should be taken before conducting like conversion poison, strychnine. Conversion should be controlled first and then we can do gastric lavage. Then comatose patient, it should be avoided. 
there is a risk of aspiration volatile poisons and hydrocarbons like petroleum distillates kerosene oil there is a chances of aspiration again and causes pneumonitis in hypothermia it is contraindicated and also if foreign body is ingested like drug packet etc then it is contraindicated for ingested poison omitting should be induced for omitting purpose or emetic emesis purpose household emetics we can use or some drugs like epicac serum we can use but but epicac serum it causes uh, it takes 30 minutes to cause omitting so if prompt omitting is required then injection apomorphine we can give injection apomorphine 6 mg subcutaneously but it causes its toxic effect so along with apomorphine naloxone should be given activated charcoal demulsions and bulky foods are mechanical antidotes there are four types of antidotes mechanical antidote or physical antidote chemical antidotes physiological or pharmacological antidotes and universal antidotes so these are mechanical antidotes it prevents the absorption of poison or impedes the absorption of poison demulsions are contraindicated in kerosene phosphorus opc ddt phenol turpentine aniline and carbon tetrachloride so demulsions they are oily substances and they form coat on the stomach wall so in all oil soluble poisons they are contraindicated so kerosene phosphorus opc they are fat soluble poisons so demulsions are contraindicated universal antidote consist of activated charcoal magnesium oxide and tannic acid so atm mnemonic we can use atm so a is activated charcoal t is tannic acid m for magnesium oxide so universal an antidote components are important then next is physiological or pharmacological antidotes so physiological antidotes they act or they causes effect opposite to that of poison so examples are atropine for pilocarpin diazepam for strychnine poisoning naloxone for morphine amyl nitrite for cyanide n acetyl cysteine for acetaminophen atropine and oxymes for opc anti snake venom for snake bite poison so this serological antidote so these are the examples of physiological or pharmacological antidotes chelating agents they also comes under pharmacological agents but there are specific antidotes for heavy metal poison so they form chelates with metallic ion ion and then get excreted so chelating agents they are particular to heavy metal poisoning there are some examples like bal british antileucite or dimer caprol it has two unsaturated sh groups so metallic ions have generally affinity towards the sh radicals present in the cell mitochondria so we are providing from outside so bal contains two unsaturated sh group dose is 3 to 5 mg per kg it is contraindicated if liver is damaged so bal is contraindicated in liver damage g6 pd deficient individuals and cadmium and iron poisoning edta ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid it is effective in lead copper cobalt cadmium iron and nickel poisoning so bal is contraindicated in cadmium and iron poisoning so in that case edta can be used it must be given iv dose is 25 to 35 mg per kg body weight and it is contraindicated in renal damage if kidney is damaged then edta is contraindicated then next is penicillamine it is treatment of choice for copper lead and mercury poisoning so cuprimine it is also called as cuprimine it is also useful in hepatolenticular degeneration wilson disease cystinuria and scleroderma dysferioxamine it is a choice of antidote chelating agents in acute iron poisoning or hemochromatosis where iron is retained in the body and transfusional chronic iron overload dysferioxamine sasimer or dmsa dimer captosacinic acid it can be given in g6 pd deficient patients so absorbed poison there are certain methods to remove absorbed poison so first is to increase the renal excretion so alkaline diuresis acid diuresis they are used to remove the absorbed poison from the body so here saline diuresis it increases the renal excretion of alcohol fluoride and thallium similarly alkaline diuresis it increases the excretion of chlorpropamide 2,4 dichlorophenoxyacetic acid 
डाइफ्लूनिजल फ्लोराइड मेको प्रॉप मिथोट्रिक्जेट फिनोबार्बिटल एंड सलिसाइलेट डाइफोरेटिक्स दे आर द एजेंट विच इंक्रीजेस स्वेटिंग और परस्पिरेशन एंड रिमूव द टॉक्जेंस हियर अल्कोहल इपिकैक पिलोकार्पिन ओपीएम स्वीट स्पिरिट्स ऑफ नाइटर एंड सलिसाइलेट्स दे कॉजेस इंक्रीज परस्पिरेशन एंड स्पीड अप्स द एक्सरेशन ऑफ टॉक्जिक एजेंट्स दे आर डाइफोरेटिक एजेंट्स कॉन्स्टिक्टेड प्यूपिल इट इज सीन इन ओपीएम फिनॉल एंड ऑर्गेनोफॉस्परस पॉइजनिंग हिमोडायलिस इट इज नॉट यूजफुल इन पॉइजनिंग विथ केरोसिन कॉपर सल्फेट ऑर्गेनोफॉस्परस डिजिटेलिस बेन्जोडाइजेपिन्स डिजॉक्जिन एंड एम्पिटामाइन एंड हिमो परफ्यूजन शुड बी डन इन केसेस ऑफ पॉइजनिंग ड्यू टू कैफेन कार्बन टेटाक्लोराइड हिप्नोटिक सीडेटिव लाइक बार्ब्यूचुरेट्स मेप्रोबेमेट और मिथेक्वेलॉन मशरूम्स विच कंटेन एमेटॉक्सिन एंड पैराक्वेट सो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स आई होप सो दिस वीडियो विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वंस अगेन